Mark chapter 4, verse 16. And these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground, who, when they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness. And they have no root in themselves, and so endure but for a time. Afterward, when affliction or persecution arises for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. And those are they which are sown among thorns, such as they hear the word and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the lusts of other things entering in choke the word and it become unfruitful. And these are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word and receive it and bring forth fruit. Some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some a hundred. And he said unto them, Is a candle brought out to be put under a bushel or under a bed, and not to be set on a candlestick? For there is nothing hid which shall not be manifested. Neither was anything kept secret, but that it should come abroad. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. And he said unto them, Take heed what you hear, with what measure you may it, it shall be measured to you, and unto you that hear shall more be given. For ye, for he that hath to him shall be given. And he that hath not, from him shall be taken even that which he hath. And he said, so is the kingdom of God. As if a man should cast his seed into the ground and should sleep and arise night and day and the seed should spring and grow up. He not know that how? For the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself, first the blade, then the ear, after that the full corn in the ear. But when the fruit is brought forth, immediately he putteth in the sickle, because the harvest has come. And he said, Whereunto shall we liken the kingdom of God? Or, or with what comparison shall we compare it to? Is it like a grain of a mustard seed, which when it is sown in the earth is less than all the seeds that be in the earth? But when it is sown up, become greater than all herbs and soothes out great branches so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadows of it. And with many such parables spake he the word unto them so they were able to hear it. But without a parable spake he not unto them and when they were alone, he expounded all things to his disciples. And the same day, when the even was come, he said unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they sent 
away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they wake him and say unto him, Master, carest not that we perish? And he arose. He rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are you so fearful? How is it you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly, and they said to one another, What manner of a man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Chapter 5. And they came over unto the other side of the sea, into the country of Gadarees, And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit who had his dwelling among the tombs and no man could bind him, no, not with chains. Because that he had been a f- often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked, assured by him, and the fetters broken in pieces. Neither could any man tame him. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying. and cutting himself with stones. But when Jesus saw afar off, but when he saw Jesus far off, he ran and worshiped him and cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with you, Jesus, the Son of the Most High God? I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come about of that man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, said, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Now there was nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swines feeding. And all the devils beside him said, Send us into the swine that we may enter into them. And forth with Jesus gave them leave. And the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine. And the herd ran violently down the steep place into the sea. There were about 2,000. And they were choked in the sea.